Right. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, I want to first just uh, say that Jeff Shantz couldn't be here, and he wanted to be here, but at uh, the last minute he wasn't able to come. But uh, him and I are working together on a book uh, that we're entitling Anarchy in, Social Sorry, Anarchy in Society. And uh, so we're trying to create an anarchist sociology, or at least sort of a formal uh, kind of book-length declaration of what anarchist sociology could be like. Uh, so I'm going to just present a chapter from that book, um, from that book we're calling Anarchy in Society. <coughs> and I want to cover sort of like five main topics. First, uh, sort of generally what we're doing, what our mission kind of is with the book. Uh, second, what anarchist sociology could refer to, what it might actually mean. Um, second, or sorry, third, compare uh, anarchism and sociology together and what areas do they overlap and what kinds of uh, um, contrast can we create. Uh, fourth, uh, generate kind of a maybe a basic practical use of an anarchist sociology. And fifth, think about how we could have a more anarchistic sociology. Um, so those are kind of the five things I want to do if I can do today. Um, and this is all part of a, uh, one of our chapters. Um, we're essentially, first what we're doing, we're just trying to anarchize, if that's a verb, uh, sociology. We're trying to, to take this thing called sociology, which is very, in many respects, kind of stodgy and, and uh, um, usually very academic and try to find a way of anarchizing it. Um, I'm not going to talk about, we're not going to do much theory or methodology with this at the moment, I guess. Uh, so we're not really trying to create a kind of a new mutant form of sociology or a hyper anarchized sociology. Uh, and in some respects, I think this is just sort of like a first step for us. It's fairly pedestrian and maybe even in, in a bit, uh, in, in some respects, kind of Catholic what we're even doing. We're just taking something uh, and anarchizing it a little bit. Uh, and akin to how anarchism without adjectives tries to uh, create some common ground, we're trying to also sort of prop up like a big tent that other like current or future anarchist sociologists could come inside of, talk about what they think about it, and, and maybe generate some ideas from that. Uh, some folks have used that term before, anarchist sociology, um, a small handful of people, but they've used it in um, kind of the similar way that we're using it. One person who's talked about it before has been Howard Ehrlich, who is, I suppose, an ex-academic, who some people might know as the editor and publisher of uh, Social Anarchism. He also, in the 1970s, with a few other um, compatriots, uh, founded, I guess, what sort of is an anarchist sociology research institute, and they did research uh, for different social movements in, in the United States. Uh, another person who's talked about anarchist sociology is Jonathan Perkis from the UK, who has a very interesting book chapter, if anyone um, is interested. What Jeff and I are doing is to, to treat the matter sort of like how you would treat like a blind date. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, I don't know, we're calling up sociology and saying, hey, sociology, um, you should really meet anarchism. Uh, you know, they would really get you, you have similar interests. Um, they're not nearly as crazy as people, you know, say they are. Um, and, you know, hey, anarchism, you know, you should, you know, you meet, meet sociology. I mean, yeah, sure, they've dabbled in Marxism in the past, but their heart's in the right place. Um, and, uh, you, know, you know, they're willing to experiment, so, I mean, you should, you know, call them up and, you know, see where it goes. Um, so, in a sense, what we're trying to do is synthesize these two different traditions. Something on one hand that is interested in studying society, and on the other hand, something that is more interested, I think, in transforming society. So, um, and I think it's, it's, it's kind of an opportune time for this to happen because in North American sociology, there's been a kind of an impending identity crisis. Um, and a lot of kind of hand-wringing and, and discussion at academic conferences and within journals and departments about um, to what extent sociologists need to be sort of active in the world, or is it just enough to sort of study it. Um, a lot of this discussion is taking place and a lot of flurry over this idea of public sociology. To what extent sociologists should be active in communities, in organizations, civil society, and social movements, and things like that. So a sociologist as a partisan, I suppose. Uh, the second task that we want to do, talk about what anarchist sociology is, or maybe more appropriately, what it could be, what, it, what that term could refer to. And I think there's a number of ways we could approach that as just a, a term, anarchist sociology. It could be just a subject, like it could be uh, a topic of study that we have, and we could try to find a way of focusing on this thing called anarchist sociology. It could be a subfield, something within the discipline of sociology that people cluster around, that they write about, that they talk about it, that they write journal articles about. It could be a, sort of a caucus, like a, a, a grouplet of people who um, have similar interests and uh, kind of cluster together. Um, and in that respect, I mean, it could be 
uh, people who identify as this thing called an anarchist sociologist and, and somehow find um, common uh, interests and common ground with each other. Um, I, actually, I'm just curious, how many people, if, if you don't mind me asking, how many people uh, sort of consider themselves to be a sociologist or have studied sociology either professionally or on a somewhat unprofessional basis, non-professional basis? Okay. okay. I'm just curious for the rest of the people, how many people are, um, have done psychology or studied or been interested in psychology? Yeah. So, I mean, in that respect, this is, I mean, from that definition of a caucus or like a, uh, something like that, I think this might be kind of the beginnings of something like that. Uh, and I think even the NAASN has, you know, people who have started doing that in other kind of areas like uh, cultural studies and history and stuff like that. So, I mean, we could, you know, if people were interested, they could start a working group, you know, of that nature. You could also, I think, maybe think of anarchist sociology as like an ideology, sort of like a systematic set of commitments that people have. Uh, you could think about it maybe as a theoretical perspective, some kind of vantage point that people use to analyze something with. Or we could even think about anarchist sociology as a praxis of sorts. Um, people using theory uh, in a practical um, fashion. So I mean, I think there's all sorts of ways you could use a term like anarchist sociology. And, and I mean, I don't really have an interest in saying one is more important than the other. Um, I think it's sort of up to people who are interested in that kind of thing to pursue it. Because it's, I mean, not a lot of people are, are I mean, some people are pursuing it, but I, I don't think that we should hold back and um, restrain ourselves. Um, Third, what I want to do is I want to compare anarchism against sociology and contrast them and see, you know, in what ways they might be similar, but also, more importantly, perhaps, where, they're, where they have um, been different. Uh, Jonathan Perkis does this a little bit in his essay, uh, arguing that anarchism and sociology grew out of sort of the same intellectual tradition, mainly in Europe, uh, predominantly uh, as a consequence of the Enlightenment period, kind of the modern era, the um, classic liberalism. Uh, but even though they have common origins, they've gone in, you know, obviously different directions. The, the milieu you would find anarchism is in, at least during that time, was in radical labor revolutionary movements, whereas sociology grew out, uh, kind of, they kind of grew in the margins between uh, academia, public policy, kind of newly um, articulated ideas about social work and things like that. Um, anarchism is kind of vigilantly held on to the status of outsider. Whereas uh, sociology has gotten rather good at seeing itself as an insider, um, although other insiders might disagree, I guess. Uh, the practitioners, if we could think about them, of, of who anarchists are, tend to be radicals and tend to be folks who don't go through any kind of processes of professionalization. Whereas sociologists tend to be university trained folk, people who have gone through a fair amount of professionalization, which you know, means they take classes, that they um, take exams that they perhaps get credentialed in one way or another, they get degrees. Uh, the, the kind of spaces in which anarchism pops up tends to be within different kind of social movements, different kinds of countercultural um, uh, milieus, um, again on the margins. Whereas academia has tended to appear in spaces largely within, I suppose, the academia, uh, uh, within academia and, and institutes like that. Uh, Perhaps people also who get sociology degrees today often go on to do government agency work. They work for policy or research institutes, or sometimes they go on to work for NGOs, and a small number of them go on to do like community organizing.